Yes, we are testing you. Social life, exercise, coward. I just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self. Janitor needed to unlock toilets.
thing as free time. Thanks for joining us on Campus Radio. If anyone from Two Point Radio is listening in or has received my emails, I graduate next year and will be available for paid or unpaid roles at your station. Thanks. Your body is a temple and you wouldn't fill a temple with crisps. Students are reminded to find themselves.
Despite the rumours, the campus grounds are not a toilet. Education is non-refundable.
Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dunk you like a biscuit. We'll check that I'm on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely.
Why is it that the youth of today believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats? The call! In my day, one had to work for years, making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts, the lot of them. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. Approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. Results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything you wanted to do? your summer. I know I will. My darling, albeit slack-jawed, nephew Kevin ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Yes, I played the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was scared. The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. While well, I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today, I'll tell you what I told that chap in the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem out of a possible five. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink.
New from Smell My Cash. <laughs> Being a student is hard enough. Hey. <laughs> the least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell My Cash for students. Yeah. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problem. Students eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat.
The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. Welcome, new students. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. Now taking students for dark art. and the controversy surrounding Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge, who allegedly blew his nose on official government documents. The stories like this are scandalous. It's perfectly clear to me that a group of students have fabricated the images, somehow, and yet this poor minister faces all manner of backlash and public murmurings. And why? Because he was photographed doing something? I know a witch hunt when I see one.
It tends to be a one-way affair, this relationship of ours, and that's how it should be. What do you know about radio after all? Almost nothing, I'd imagine. Still, it's time for that rare occasion where we put you, the listener, at the center of things. I am the aunt to ease your agony, the balm to abate what bites you, the A to all your cues. I am listening. Oh, and we're out of time. We'll get to your problems after this, all right? All right. Janitor needed in staff room. It's time for Agony Answers with me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. This week's problem is from student Felony Bogdropper, who writes, I've got loads of work but can't concentrate with all the noise in my flat. Well, Felony, I advise that you try a change of scenery. Work in the study, write in the billiard room, mill about in the converted mill, why, read in the scullery. Your home is your castle. Utilize all of its many, many nooks and crannies. That's what got me through the hard times. Mm. Students are asked not to ask questions.
Jason. Do you like what you hear? Of course you do. So why not call in and let our producers know? Recent research suggests that over 97% of our listeners are incidental. That is, hearing by accident rather than intent. Collateral jollies, if you will. Nevertheless, I have faith that each radio segment, like a juicy needle in a haystack of filth, is found by someone, somewhere. Well done to you, today's deliberate listener. If you don't know where your class is, is it really worth going? Breach, please change your passwords. Sorry.
There's a fly in here. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. you've taken your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf show here on Two Point Radio and it's going to be a wild ride Yo yo and hello it's Harrison Wolf coming at you with the dulcet sounds of the underground We've got a good one for you today but first I should probably turn some lights on Fully enlightened radio coming up next Administrator is reminded to stay hydrated.
Pirates are reminded that you came here on purpose. A lot of people ask me, Harrison, what can I do to be more subversive? And I say, first things first, you gotta throw out that question. There's nothing less punk than asking for instructions. You gotta take out the toy, burn the manual, and use the box to make yourself a groovy fort. That being said, today, I'll be dishing out some details on how to be a more subversive you. Administrative bonuses. Breakfast is a concept. You think it's real, but it's just another lesson taught to you by the man in an attempt to structure your day. That's why when I wake up, I like a big bowl of pasta and a tall lemonade. 
take that establishment. No unauthorized talking on campus. Thank you. Sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. is not a belief system. and grab your briefcase because Cat Court is in session. This season, it's all litigation and litter trays. The Bureau Cats. New episode every week on Bundle Pictures. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water, remember? It's too late to start trying. are expensive and education is priceless. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus.
Wikipedia results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. The summer break would be a convenient time for construction. Clothes are a great way to express your individuality. Some people go to a lot of effort, and I can dig that. There was a time when the Wolfman spent a lot of time on his outwardness. But that all changed when I accidentally put on mismatched shoes the morning after a party, and the compliments started rolling in. I've gotten dressed in the dark ever since. Just you, the void, and something that could be a sleeve or a trouser leg. Live dangerously, my dudes. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. The campus has opened a new building. Good for us. to set reminders.
announcement hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. I like to do one thing every day that chills me to my core. It puts the key in anarchy, or it's the key to anarchy or something. Anyway, it's important. This morning, I ate some chocolate mousse that had been on the counter for days. Was I scared? Of course I was. I'd pushed the limits. I'd broken the rules. They don't want you to eat the warm mousse, my friends. Now isn't that reason enough? Students are reminded to be in two places at once. fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. Questions are a great tool for unraveling the mysteries of life. Questions like, where's the bathroom? And, can I have a bite? But questions can also daze and confuse. Next time someone puts you on the spot, throw it back at them with a I don't know, do you? Oh man, that'll change a person. Warning, campus class is missing equipment.
students are reminded that this is the fun part. Students are reminded to find themselves. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. first and last rule to a subversive life. A healthy disdain for authority. I go home five minutes early every day just to show the boss that's what's up. Sometimes I even come in on my day off. They don't know up from down. And that's how I like it. You don't have to listen to nobody. Should you listen to me? Where's the bathroom? Can I have a bite? Think about it. Students are reminded that some grades are personal.
required in bathroom. Ricky Hawthorne Ooh. on Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Doctor, return to the hospital. Thank you.
world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wonder in puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. <sighs> Warning, stupid questions will make you look stupid.
sandwiches will be eaten by me. talking on campus. Thank you. New to the Crumley Student Range, Chicken Stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Crumley Farms boneless chickens, add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agent and stamp. You've got Crumley's Chicken Stompers. Breaded for palatability, they really could be anything. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. announcement. Plants need water, remember?
Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. I'm a huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. Enjoy your summer. I know I will.
students are reminded that I'm not your mum. This trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual volleyball is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho 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 ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner! Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. transferable. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers!
bathroom. Plagiarism is not a belief system.
Welcome in, it's DJ Shorts on Campus Radio, keeping it short and keeping it sweet. On today's show, I'll be telling you the six ways to get the most out of your winter coat. But first, let's cook up something tasty in the music microwave. If you cannot handle the heat, what are you doing in me kitchen? Let's go! Announcement. Intruders on campus. Oh no. than you. Oh, sorry, that's mine. What is wrong with people? I saw this guy wearing a Bureau Cats t-shirt the other day, man. Uh, great show, great show. So I go up to him and I say, Meowza! And he just stands there, staring at us, like I'm the mad one. Listen, fella, if you didn't recognize a quote, let alone a classic from season two, episode 12, the Admiral Fuzzy Knickers All Nighter, then you didn't get to wear the t-shirt. He's a song for people who do know their courts. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry.
reminded to have the time of their lives. And now, here's another student story about a little supermarket that could become a little supermarket that's closed. Juice over to you. Over the years, Crumley Supermarket has fed countless students all over Two Point County. None more than Crumley's flagship store, right here in Duckworth. Sadly, no amount of coupons or discount fish is going to save the store this time. No, after failing their third inspection of the week, this much visited market will be closing its doors. As I sit here, the mechanical pig one last time, I can't help but think of all of the good times. At the end of an era, that's for sure. Questions. No, I will not be your friend.
Hi, I'm Ricky Hawthorne. I don't remember being a student, but I'm sure it happened. People ask me all the time, Ricky, what would you eat if you were a student? And I say, anything from the crumbly student range. It's Expensive and above all else, it's affordable. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Cool, original opinions like mine. So I'm going to tell you about a little technique that I like to call plain devil's advocate. What you do is you take a popular, universally agreed upon opinion and flip it on its head. Boom! You've got yourself a really cool original opinion. Take toilets. You might think they're great, necessary even. Whereas I think they're a little passe. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? The academic year is now over. a belief system.
Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Hello, hello. Today we're discussing, for the very first time, ironically, sequels. Yes, that's right. When the wicked and wretched behind something decide that it's a good idea to bless us all once again with the second pressing of their already tenuous idea. Education is non-refundable. Announcement, not a real announcement. to set reminders. Sequelization, or the art of doing something again, is derived from the Greek word sequalid, meaning lazy, repetitive, or in some way redundant. Hmm, it would seem that the ancients are trying to tell you something. 
ambitionless auteurs of our times. Announcement. Intruders on campus. Oh no. are reminded to find themselves. Equalization, or the art of doing something again. Wait, no, we've covered that already. See what I did there? I almost repeated myself and then decided not to. It is possible. Up next, something fresh.
aliens are asked not to ask questions. At Jumbo, we know it's our employees that are the big deal. That's why they get the Jumbo treatment. Mobile stationery, toilet substitute, sip of milk, leg rooms, dental surgeries, additional headrest, Ooh. and our famous data system analysis training program system. Or for dab stabs. I'm Jumbo McNally, and I wish I worked here. to the hospital. Thank you. It's almost the end of the academic year, in case you hadn't noticed. talking on campus. Thank you.
Repetition seems to me to be at the heart of all of our cultural and social failings. Oh, what comfort you all seem to take in your cookie-cutter days. Another weekend, another roach burger, another glorified re-release of the picture theater. Come on, people! Go out there and live! Join me tomorrow on Two Point Radio, where I'll be talking about my collection of ceramic voles. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. Many of you are getting in touch about one particular sequel. Yes, the follow-up to Mr. Cushion's positively poisonous production, Perilous Spandex. The only thing hazardous about that particular picture is watching it. <laughs> the sequel, entitled Perilous Spandex 2, The Handles of Love, received the coveted Piece of Garbage Award. A little award that I bestow to highlight as a public service announcement, really, those films most bereft of value in our county's rich tradition of abominable filmmaking. Staff are reminded to care about students.
Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. This has been exhausting. We shan't be doing it again, because unlike all you reproduction peddling, washed up, rehash monkeys, we at Two Point Radio know when to stop. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt.
that's the show. Of course, this has all been delivered to you with one rather heavy caveat. If I were ever to be involved in a second rendition of anything, I can be certain in telling you that it would be for good reason. And, if anything, would surely be a bigger, better, pickle-worthier version of what had come before it. <clears throat> How was that? All right? Students are reminded that this is the fun part. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses.
asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. This is Campus Radio, and I'm your host, Felicity Bellbottoms. Speculation continues to build over that smell in the lecture theatre. But what should you believe? Did someone really stuff a block of cheddar under one of the seats? Or is it haunted? The answer may surprise you. No unauthorised talking on campus. Thank you. Time for a book review. Over to Maggie, who's been reading the memoirs of Two Point Radio's longest tenured DJ. This week, I've been reading A Life on the Waves by Ricky Hawthorne. Oh, so good. Really, really good. Because I didn't know before actually, that he spent so much time at sea. Or, well, near any water, really, and that's just super interesting. Doctor, return to the hospital. Thank you.
Futurism is not a belief system. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. The renovation of a library might sound like a good thing, but here's Hugh to tell us why it's actually quite sad. Mobley, students have been looking forward to the renovation of the old campus library. The carpet is plush and the study areas are dressed with kettles and bean bags. <laughs> alive and bustling, but the old bookcases are left on the outside, looking in. Yes, three old bookcases stand on the lawn outside the library, a monument to a past that's now over. Spare a thought for them as you enjoy a sleek, frictionless library experience. Summer break would be a convenient time for construction. The academic year is now over. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now. Start of a new year. I'll be your host. Hello. Now taking students for dark art.
announcement, not a real announcement. Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. Intruders on campus. You know what to do. And there we have it. It's being reported that that smell in the lecture theatre was indeed a large. Jeez, we're hearing that a member of the janitorial staff was seen retrieving the putrid wedge in a hazmat suit. source has been known to exaggerate. We can only hope the smell dissipates and our community can breathe deeply and cheeselessly once again. Janitor to repair machinery.
students are reminded to be in two places at once. because the oven wasn't on. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. There's a fly in here. Frequently asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio.
Welcome to Two Point Radio. This is Harrison Wolf, and I will be your host of this little Sonic get together. This is the party within the party. The sandwich and the lunchbox. The thing in the thing. I'll think of some words, and we'll be right back. Announcement Intruders on campus. Oh no. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. news today, local film star Roderick Cushion is in a spot of bother after he was photographed throwing a bagel at some photographers. It's pretty bad luck that those freelance photographers were in his bathroom at the exact moment he decided to start flinging bagels. I mean, what are the chances? Thank you. 
visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. Starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? Students should check in before trying to learn. I've lived in Two Point County for more years than I can remember. But every now and then, I still hear an expression for the first time. This morning, I bumped into Ricky Hawthorne, and after a nice chat, he says, Time to see a man about a dolphin. I have no idea what it could mean. Don't tell me, though. That man's an enigma, and I choose to keep him that way. Students are reminded that this is the fun part.
Whoa, is that? It can't be. New from Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. Janitor required in bathroom.